But in today's video, we are taking a look at one of my all-time favorite tools inside of Maya. So let's check it out. Imagine modeling this. I have this cylindrical shape that needs to flow right into a sphere, but I want to do it well. This is terrible geometry that's penetrating each other, and this is where Quadraw comes in. So Quadraw is in our modeling toolkit, and if I just click Quadraw, it's not how we use Quadraw. I can move points around, it's like, what is this? See, this ain't it, I promise you. So let me press Q, that gets us out of our tool. And the very first thing is I want to make this object a live surface. So I'm gonna press this magnet on the far right. Now this is a live surface. You can see that in my modeling toolkit, it says live surface. And let's press quad draw now. Like the name implies, we can left click and we wanna make quads. I'm basically placing verts, vertices on this mesh, which is super, super great. We can do triangles, but we're using quad draw, so you might as well do quads. And then if I hold shift, I can come in here and place polygons. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Look what happens as soon as I get to the sphere. And this is the power of quad draw. I'm gonna hold shift, left click and drag, make it go a little quicker. It is sticking to the surface and then flowing from the cylindrical shape to the sphere. Um, you'll notice that it's sticking to the surface, but it's also like, it's not quite. The reason for that is this is much more higher res, both of these shapes, both of these objects than what I have here. So I'm gonna hold control. And then you'll notice that when I do that, it like adjusts itself ever so slightly. So from this angle, we'll be able to see it really well. Hold control, boom. These points have more, there's more resolution in this now. So it snaps to the surface a little bit better. But if I need to adjust, I can middle mouse click on a vertex, a face, or an edge. So let's say I had a really janky job of using quad draw. We have a command called relax. So if I hold shift, I can relax this surface and just kind of left click and drag back and forth. And it will not adjust the perimeter, but you see that it put all those points in the middle back to have much better edge flow, much better poly flow, and that's awesome. So if this were my shape, I'm making some sort of weapon or ornamental piece on a piece of armor or something. This is super, super nice because it sticks to the surface. When I'm all done, I'm gonna press Q. That gets me out of the tool. Hold right click, the two o'clock position for object mode, or you can go up here and press this button for object mode. Yay, and then I'm gonna turn off my live surface. I don't need that anymore. Now I have this piece of geometry. I have that main shape. I am going to go to face mode. Actually, let's hide this shape first. Press H to hide in my outliner, which is located here. Go to face mode on this, double click, and I could extrude if I wanted. Give it a little thickness. Press H in my outliner again, and this piece of geometry or armor or little panel thing, whatever, I have this as a separate shape that I can do any other modeling that I want to do. So quad draw, really, really great. 